、相対的貧困のなんか率を見たところ、日本の方がアメリカのより高いので。Welcome to the Lazy Fluency Podcast, where we have casual conversations switching between English and Japanese so they can learn from and with us along the way. I'm Joey. And I'm Miami. And the topic of the day is poverty in Japan. Before we get into that, make sure to like, subscribe, follow, and to drop a review on the platform you're listening on. And if you feel so inclined, support us on Ko fi. We appreciate the support. And with that out of the way, poverty in Japan. Birth rate issues, work issues, and economic issues. Moreover, last year Germany officially overtook Japan to become the third wealthiest country in the world by GDP. Is Japan poor, and what is the average person's life like? This video was inspired by a comment, and it goes as follows、uh, The person's name is Kozi. In the recent episode, the commenter Gavino mentioned their reasoning for wanting to move to Japan. It resonated with me, albeit in a bittersweet way. Because I can remember plotting a similar trajectory for my life, the good old jet route. Unfortunately, in my case, none of that came to fruition, and I'm now disabled. It made me curious as to what life is like for the average Japanese person in my predicament, at least in terms of social welfare and mobility. In Canada, I'd be homeless if it weren't for my family taking me in. The average price of an apartment is almost $3,000 Canadian due to the housing crisis, and I can't afford the high cost of food or medication on my own. The government here is an absolute nightmare to deal with, and people can be really cruel because of the notion that I don't contribute anything to society. If I put myself in a Japanese person's shoes, I can only imagine that sentiment is amplified due to the insane work culture there. Maybe there's easier aspects due to the lower cost of living, seeing the housing and food prices makes me want to cry, but then again, there could be other obstacles that I'm unaware of. Food for thought, I guess. And today we are looking to answer your question as well as maybe other related topics related to poverty and other things like that. I mean, do you want to, I guess, start the conversation on poverty? Because we have a whole bunch of aspects that we kind of want to talk about poverty. Maybe what is poverty, I mean? なんかまず一つ目私は経済学者では社会学者とか経済学者じゃないのであの細かいことは言えませんあのご了承くださいけどちょっと調べましたはいっていうのは置いといてでまず調べたところあの日本の平均的な年収1年あたりどれぐらい稼いでいるのかっていうのが、えっと、平均収入が461万でまあ今だとドル高円安で、まあ、そこをいろいろ考えないといけないんだけどで男の人が560万円あ567万円女の人が280万円って言って、まあ、男女でまあちょっと差があるよねっていうのが、まあ、まだマシになってきたとは思うんだけどあのこういう現状がありますとでじゃあ一人うんごめん。No, I was just saying it's, it's、um, for people in their 20s, I looked up specifically, it's around half of that. For men, and I'm, not, I'm sure for women, probably around the same. I think it was around、うん、200万なんとか。But yeah, go ahead. So, the first thing is that 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 the first thing えっと、住んでるって感じで、まあ、これは、東京にする住むと、それだけ、まあ、家賃は上がるじゃん。で、まあ、uh, I actually looked up the Tokyo one specifically,、うん、actually. So, Tokyo's range, so just off the bat, for those who don't know, there's a, the, the yen is really weak right now. So,、うん um, technically speaking, all of these rates, like, like, Goldman, or was it Goldman, h a p y o k u g o l j u y o e n like 50, was that 58,540, 54 yen. Um, would normally be equivalent, you know, if the one, like 100 pennies were equal to 100 yen, that'd be equal to like 580 something dollars. But、so、now it's even cheaper. But just for like thinking in your head on normal circumstance, what it is, I would kind of translate, you know, think of it like 100 yen equals 100、um, pennies, even though that's not currently the case. So、mm. off, off bat, even like, you know, I think I looked in Tokyo and You kind of basically have between $500 to $1,000 being the average rent.、Um, it was one even lower depending on the region that you were looking,、ね、that you were looking for in Tokyo. The average is in Tokyo, it's about 8 million to 10 million. It depends on the location. There, there were actually some ones that were in Yoman. That's right. 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 ところに住みたいってなると、なんかそれだけ自己物件であったり、あの、すごく狭くて。
、なんかトイレもトイレとシャワーが共同であったりっていうなんかまあいろいろあの理由つくと安いんだけどまあアベレージでまあ普通のまあ生活したいってなったらまあ8万から10万は払わないと東京まあ住めなくてでそれでプラスでさまあいろいろまあガス代であったり水道料金であったり電気代でやってるのっていうのも払わないといけないと。で生活費どれぐらいかかるのかっていうと、平均で17万9795円。まあ18万ぐらいかな。But、you can think of that as like $1,700 per month,、うん、right? そうね、うん。で、まあ全体的に、えー、家賃っていうのは、あの、なんだ、支出えっ、ー、と、自分が使うお金の3割ぐらい、Expenditure. えー、かかるって、yeah. そうそうそう、感じで。で、なんか YouTube でそのちょうど年収が400万ぐらいでアベレージの人の話をあしてたのを見たところなんか一人暮らしだったら全然困ることもなく暮らせるんだってそのまあちょっとたまに外食したりとかあのと友達と遊び行ったりとかねあのっていうのはまあできるとでもそのアベレージからちょっと低くなって収入がまあ300万であったり200万台ってなるとちょっと厳しくなってなんだ週1回の飲み会もちょっと厳しいかなっていう程度になっちゃうんだってそう。So yeah, although this isn't a comp- like a necessarily a comparison between like America and Japan for the video, but and you're from Canada specifically. I like already, you might be thinking, okay, so rent can still be pretty expensive comparatively, right? Because it can be half of your、um, like living, or what is that? No, it's not half of your living expenses, but depending on like what you're making up, it can make up a very large like chunk of the amount of money you have coming in. But、um, off rip, there's also a lot of other stuff that you don't have to worry paying about, whether it be Canada and the US, like probably car insurance, medical insurance.、Um, oh gosh, what is. Oh, I'm trying to remember what are all the. Oh, transport. Tra- aside from like, the car insurance itself, but all the car you know, transportation costs, and they're going to be a lot,、um, a lot cheaper.、Um, and also, even though we're talking about, you know,、um, it, it, this can be something that's hard to compare, even though like, one country is poorer, like, you know, in terms of Japan's like, poor GDP, GDP whatever, total, total GDP, GDP, and their economy is going down,、um, there's still a lot, like, the food there, even you know, comparing by the salary they get, I feel a lot of food options are still a lot cheaper, especially eating out.、Um, part of that maybe has to be tipping culture and other stuff. But, yeah. <laughs>賃金はあ上がってないのに物価が高くてだんだん生活が苦しくなってきてるっていうのはもうみんな言ってることでだからまあ必ずしも<笑>そのフードとかであったり生活必需品があの安いってわけではないんだよ。あの、well, compared to America からすると、まあ、外食とかねあの、まあ、フードが安いかもしれないんだけどでもそれってアメリカだとさ、まあ、賃金が日本より、えー、高いわけじゃん。Like、no, but even still, so we're talking about that. What I was trying to get in the point here is like the lifestyle of a Japanese person, and then that, like that lifestyle quality going down is very different from the average you know, lifestyle of a US person and that going down.、Mm-hmm. So I'm saying for, for very, like, and this is, I know obviously you have a group like more med students, but I've been like on multiple campuses. I've known college students and things that are very possible. To, oh gosh, how did I miss this one?、Um, college debt. <laughs> <laughs> It's just、ah, massive、まあ、in the US as well. <laughs> <laughs>、um, <laughs> and so、uh, you're able to like, work part time and pay off your own college debt in Japan. And I know not for med school, but、um, in many, many schools. And I knew friends who did it. And simultaneously, while they were doing it, they were still go- able to go out multiple times a week to go out you know, eating food、um, with their friends. And transportation fees are almost negligible. They don't have a car, they don't have to worry about that.、Mm-hmm. So, this is something actually, do you want to talk about relative poverty versus, like,、um, what's it called?、Um, Uh, and and、uh, an absolute, par- absolute poverty, because I think that's also another thing when it comes to the discussion. Something、mm-hmm. I did not know is that Japan actually has a larger, I think by three percentage points,、um, relative poverty than the United States.、Um, do you want to talk a little about that? Ah, so, so, so. Like, first, poverty is a thing that we have to do. あの貧困の定義がなんか2つあるらしくて1つはあの相対的貧困っていうのともう1つが絶対的貧困ってやつね。Relative か definite とかで。Absolute, yeah. あ、absolute か。<笑>で、そのじゃあまず1つ目の相対的貧困っていうのが、えー、まあ簡単に言うと
、平均所得の半分以下の人たちのことを、まあ、相対的に貧困で困ってる人たちって言ってで,あ、えーなんでね、絶対的貧困っていうのが何だっけ、えー、1日 1.6 ドル以下の収入の人っていう。Well, it, it, It depends how you like, want to be define it, but the,、mm. the real more important factor when it comes to absolute poverty is the actual quantitative ways they live. Like, are they food insecure? Are, they,、ah, so, you, so, so, are so. you educated? Stuff like that. So it doesn't actually have to do with、no、currency necessarily. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And so,、um, there, so relative poverty is, can, be, like, can tell you something, but it, it, I feel like with Japan and the US, it's very, very tricky to even make any sort of comparison. You're like, huh? Japan is more relatively poor than so, so, so. the United States. Oh, to be clear, also, just、uh, if you didn't catch it, like,、um, listening to Japanese, the relative poverty, how it's determined, is you take half of basically anybody under 50% of the average household income falls under relative poverty, which is to、mm. say that you could have a country like, you know, with Japan, where it has、like、a very large middle class. Um, and, like, you know, if you live in that middle class, you're living relatively, you know, comfortably from like an absolute sense. And then, Less than half of that might still be, you know, still have an apartment. They might be still, you know, be able to go out some t- like once a week as opposed to like, you know, four or five times a week.、Um, but they would be considered poor, relatively speaking.、Um, and、mm. I feel like, yeah, that's something that's very important to note because、uh, mm. I think Aimee can agree with me that、uh, just from a little stint in New York,、uh, you do not, <laughs> you, although you, there are homeless people in Japan, like that is a thing,、mm. even though we,、uh, like、the title that、mm. I want to change, but like they're not being any, there are some. Uh, mm. they're not, it's not nearly as much of an issue like、mm. housing、um, and just,、uh, just so many issues that you see with extreme poverty in Japan compared to the United States.、Mm. Um, after the, this, so go ahead. So, this is the first thing that I have to say about the people who are living in Japan. And I have to say that 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 I have to say 平均的な収入の半分以下の人がまあ相対的な貧困じゃん。だからさ、yeah. あのアメリカって、エクストリームリリリッチの人がいて、で、まあ、真ん中はまあ、まあ、バラバラいて、で、エクストリームリリプォーの人がいるから、あの、まあ、それだけ相対的な貧困は、まあ、高、貧困率は高くなるのかなと思ったんだけど、えっと、じゃあ日本は何でかって考えた時にその日本でももちろんエクストリームリリッチの人は、まあ、いるわけじゃんどの世界も見てさでもか私ちょっと個人的に思うのが多分真ん中の平均的収入の人が結構いてもうそれが、えっと、マジョリティだからあのその人たちの収入の半分以下の人たちは全員あの相対的貧困になっちゃうからその分だけ。その率が高くなるのかなって考えたのね。だからこの相対的貧困っていうのが、その国の貧困率を、その、まあ、直接表してるのかっていうと、ちょっと疑問が残るね。そう。I, I also think that Japan's system, you know, with employment is based on, like, like historically and still a lot to this day, on how long you've been in a company, which is to say that in a lot of the poverty in Japan is youth poverty. Where, I mean, in the US, it's everybody.、Uh, I guess what I'm saying is, like, you know, a lot of younger people are the ones, like, there's,、um, like I said,、um, the Niju Dai no Hito, like, you know, in their 20s and early 30s,、um, and are in the poor category. And they're, like, a lot of times you're talking about,、um, you know, the youths can have to support the older populations. But that's because a lot of, like I said,、um, the money and, like, more money comes from seniority. So I feel like there's also a thing in Japan where one of the reasons it could be higher is because of just how the track of getting income. Grows, you know, like, like、mm. you have it's expected <coughs> if you're in 20s, you're just not going to get paid well. I think I've, I've mentioned before, but like, you're going to get paid, let's just assuming right now it's going to be even less than that, but let's assume the 100 yen, you know, 100 pennies, same thing. You get paid $40,000 to be an Apple, like a software Apple engineer, which is only like that's still actually below the average salary of male salary、mm. as an app, you know, app,、oh, what's it called? A software engineer in Apple. Whereas you use software engineer in Apple, United States, you're way above. Way above.、Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter if you just came from high school or you didn't, you didn't go to college、mm-hmm. or whatever. Like you're way above by default. But you, it's really hard. I don't really know many positions in Japan that you can actually do that. You can get above the seniority.、Um, so I could see that contributing to、um, 
uh, yeah, and also the fact that because Japan is so old, there's I I, I want to make a video about this. As well, there's I I call this like. Uh, gosh, old old person laws. Like, there's a lot of what I call old person laws in Japan, where I can tell are explicit. Like, you would never imagine any other country, but because Japan is so old that they just they they start doing the like this law seems like it was just made by man yells at cloud type stuff. And so I would not be surprised that the system is generally set to protect the largest cohort, which is older. Um, the, I would say, have you? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Have I what? No, I was I was wondering. Do you feel like um, was, oh, I, I guess I'll I'll say something before I pass it off to you. Which is one thing I didn't also mention, but something that is possible in Japan is getting a minimum wage or cheap job and actually affording rent by yourself. You said like, oh, you're gonna get this very small <coughs> apartment. Like, oh, you know who wants that? For one, not that bad, not that. But your apartment's mm. like tiny, tiny. That's that's it's fine. And and the other thing is that's an option you have. That's an option you have. In the US, you do not have an option in most places. So realistically, if you're in your 20s, you're either um, basically have you're, you're married or a couple and you have double incomes, two incomes is allowing you to get a house, or you're you know a um, graduate student or some high tech person, or you're living with your parents. And if you're not living with your parents, you're homeless. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's kind of it. So or I feel like with Japan... I I don't feel that I don't actually I think almost everybody I know who like got after college is affording an apartment by themselves or they're choosing to live with their parents but they could afford an apartment if they wanted to where mm. that's definitely not the case in America and I don't feel like that's also the case in uh, Canada. Eh, それは何？い田舎の場合でもな、たなんていうの？その自分で住むこと。It's super expensive. Obviously, it's cheaper in like 田舎 but the thing is you have to have work and like a lot of times in 田舎 a lot of them. Um, um, <coughs> land is still bought out. Like people treat it as an investment everywhere, everywhere throughout the country. Ah, so and right. Inaka being so cheaper right. just gets more people buying. Like, like in Idaho, a lot of the land is being bought up by Californians. It's like a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, I, and I told you a lot of people who work. I, I don't actually. I mentioned this in podcast. Maybe we did. A lot of the the, the police force that works in LA. It's like twenty five percent of the police force. Um, oh gosh, what is it? maybe even higher. It's like. Seventy-five percent of the police force doesn't live inside LA County, and then twenty-five percent of the police force doesn't even live inside the state. Yeah, doesn't even live inside the state, and a lot of them live inside of Boise, Idaho, and they fly in from Boise, Idaho. So they're buying up. You know, the people who are getting these larger salaries just buying up places from they're cheaper. Um, and these a lot of the uh, you know tech tech jobs as well. 普通にまあ働い普通に働いてるっていうのもおかしいかあのまあ例えばコンビニでもうパートで アルバイトしてるしててもまあアパートはそのまあ広さとか選ばなかったら暮らせるとは思うんだよ実際なんかねわしがまああの動画で見たことあるのはなんかウーバーイーツで生計を立ててる人であのカプセルホテルに泊ま
でうんうんうんなんかあそれめっちゃあそれぐらいさっきあなんだ平均収入で一人で住む分には全然困らないみたいな話したじゃんで、うん、でもなんか言ってたのはこれが家族あの一人増えたりまあそのまあなんだろう結婚したり子供を持ったりするとかなり厳しくなってでもうそれこそ子供を産んで育てるってなるとそれだけお金かかるからやっぱりまあ奥さんも働かないといけない共,だば共働きっていうんだけどっていうのがあのまあしなくちゃいけなくて、まあ、でもアメリカだと結構共働きしてる人がほとんどだよね。Yeah, that's, that's very, very common. If not, and it gets you crazy. If you're in a big city, like you're talking about, like,、uh, I'm not trying to be obviously, like, obviously for Japan, things are getting worse、mm-hmm. comparatively to like, but st- still to like, you know, a Canadian or American hearing this, you're like, man,、mm-hmm. I wish it were that bad. Because、um, <laughs> in, in New York or in like ca-、uh, ca-、um, California and places, I've heard it's common to like do like groups of five or six. Kind of, you know,、mm. all paying for the same rent and just,、mm. um, just so they can have a place to live where,、Mm-mm. like, obviously they're like share houses or stuff in Japan, which as the US, but I'm just saying it's very, very common to just,、mm. you're like, oh, I, w- I want to live in the, the cheapest possible facility. I'm going to have to make a friend or a stranger and we're going to have to live, live together, you know, to make that、mm. work. あ確かに日本だとそういうシェアハウス的なのはあんまり聞かないまああるけどそんなになんだカモンではないかな、うん、そうねでなんか思ったのが、まあ、友達働きして家計を支えるのがいいっていうのはわかるんだけどさなんか日本だとさもう働くってなったらそのなんだろう家庭をもうなんか捨てるみたいな感じのまあ、イメージがあるのねなんだかっていうとまあ結構残業であったりあんまりなんか家族と過ごす時間が少ないっていうイメージがあってでなんかそれって子供に悪影響じゃな,なんじゃないと思ったんだけど What? I, あ、うん、I've, アメリカだと違う、ね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。Technically, Japanese people lurk, work less hours on average than Americans per year. That's like something I'm re- not by a lot, but technically、mm. they do, which makes me think.、Mm. It, well, which makes me think that a lot of these hours are not being reported because I, I know, like, the friends I have in Japan, you know, research friends, other stuff. And I'm not saying US obviously has some jobs are being worked to death or whatever, like t- crazy degrees. But I'm just almost just don't believe the data because almost everybody knows, like, especially if they're a guy or、um, in like some, or I guess I could say like a highly competitive field or something dominated by men, you're, you're just expected to be there all, all day, all day and into、so、the night,、man. and you come back at 11. I'm, I'm like, bro, that math does not make sense. If you're doing that every day, Like, that's not 40 hours a week. So,、yeah, I, I just、man. don't know how these numbers are being collected because I feel like, to me, like, financially speaking, you know, it seems like you could raise a child just like, you know,、um, if, you, um, if you really wanted to. Like, it seems like it's doable, assuming that they actually worked like 40 hours a week, you know. But I think the reality is that. Like, people don't, when you're actually working in a lot of these businesses, you, you really don't have any free time at all. So, I don't know if、mm. it seems obviously there's a financial burden, but I think it's the idea <clears throat> that if both people are working in a Japanese work context, they both can't ever reach the house. And because they have, can't reach the house, it does, it's not really like a financial thing, obviously, for hiring maids and stuff like that. But I, actually, I'm, I'm curious. Are, is like having maids and like take care of your like daycares and stuff? I know there's like、um, child daycares for like、um, kindergarten stuff, but、uh, do you want to explain to, to viewers like how calm that is in Japan? Because I feel like. Hey, you're a child, and you're a child. 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 You're a Like,、um, what is it? Nur-、uh, nurse, like, well, what, 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 what is it called in English?、Um, uh, where people basically take care of your children when you're, oh gosh, this is just a simple word. Oh, babysit. Yes. Well, formal babysitting, like professional, like,、uh, if that makes any sense. Yeah. 
そんなないねあんま聞かなかったね私が少なくとも小学校の時はあのベイビーセットとか全然聞いたことないなんかそういうことする人って本当になんかどっちも働いててあの朝から晩までいないからちょっと任せようっていう人なんだと思うけどでもそういう人家庭でもなんか子供があの家の鍵持ってあの小学校行って帰ってくる時自分で帰ってきてでまあ母親が用意したなんかご飯を食べるみたいなそういうのまあ鍵っ子って言うんだけどあの鍵に行こうでね鍵っ子ちっちゃいやつも入ってでそういう子結構多かったかもしれないそれかあとおじいちゃんおばあちゃんがちょっと面倒見てくれるとかねで I、うん、I just want to say that I think that something that、um... I guess we aren't mentioning this conversation as well.、Um, and I know that in your specific situation, this probably isn't possible, which is yeah, unfortunate, especially with your disability.、Um, is that you might be, I think we've talked about the episode, like how you can go and work in Japan. But if you have any form of a wage, you know, that whether you're in a country that's not America that actually allows for holiday visas, or like recently there was a nomad visa released, which probably we should make a whole thing about that.、Um, then, Any wage, like you know, independent, like you can, online or whatever in Japan, is probably going to make you feel like a god king just because of the current conversion rate. So, if your、mm. question is how much is an American or Canadian and not the average Japanese person, like what their life is going to be, for one, I think the average Japanese life is way more,、uh, what would I say?、Uh, people would like it way more than I would believe a lot like the average American lifestyle would be. Like, you know, actually being able to go out multiple times, not worry about car insurance, not worry about health insurance.、Um, yeah, obviously, if you're doing education, that's also an option as well.、Uh, not worry too much about food costs, not worry about all of that pretty much.、Um, and,、uh, you could, you, you could, and you could could, you could do, you know, as long as you're making, literally, especially with the current conversion rate, if you're making 12K a year, You're probably, you're, pro- you're probably making the average once it converts up to what、um, you know, a person in their 20s would make in Japan working like, you know, full time or whatever. So, if that's the question that I guess maybe listeners、um, would be interested in, yeah, no. If, if you make anywhere above that, you know, and you're like, you're like that sounds so low. But yeah, like,、um, Ma- that's why I feel like a lot of Japanese people are feeling like,、um, sorry, a lot of non Japanese people are feeling like, wow, Japan is so cheap. And like myself included, it's probably. Do, partially due to the end, but I think also partially due to the, the lifestyle that people live in Japan、um, is just better for a lot of people. Like, they would rather,、mm. like, you know, they feel like you're getting more out of it.、Um, yeah, but, 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 でもなんか日本のカンパニーで働くって場合に関してはそれこそ収入も減るし何だら残業とかねあのマジで意味がわからないところで残されたりとかあするからで私その、まあ、日本人ってよく生産性が低いくてその GDP があの下がってるんじゃないかって言われてるんだけど Aren't they like one of the lowest? Aren't they like, aren't they like number, one in pro- or one, number one in lack of productivity? <笑> I like that OCD nation. Let's go. Productivity がなんか下がってる理由として私が考えるにはなんか日本人ってさ結構無駄なところが多いじゃん。その例えばまあいいことなんだけどなんかすごく丁寧とかねなんかカスタマーサービスが手厚いとかなんかいらないところで人材がふふあのふ振られてたりあと。That's hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The food service Japanese people are a hundred percent not the reason for lack of productivity. Those people go hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Japanese people working in Japanese company, as it just being an expectation that if you finish your work, you're, not, you're just still not allowed to leave until you're done. Where obviously the U- US have a lot of overwork, but, the, but also at the same time, the US is like extremely capital, you know, the business brain. We don't care about, we don't, you don't literally anything except for the bottom line. So if, you, if you're done, you know, you're wasting, sp- like, get out, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, you're no longer mm. needed. Where I feel like, um, yeah, I definitely think it has to be yeah, zangyo. Um, zangyo or just 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 having. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, no. Nandaro. ま、いいことなのか分かんないけど、なんかちょっと受教っぽいとこがあって、あの、先輩を敬って、なんだろう、年功序列にやったり、あの、無駄なところに気を配らないといけないんだよね、その、上の先輩をま、その尊敬する、
the wallet slipped uh, off from the backpack, and I tried to catch. Uh, I, I tried to catch it, and then the wallet. Uh, how do you say? Touched my hands, so like, yeah, I could hold it. So you need dicked on that, but ah, ma. Yeah. ある程度捕まってた。It bounced, bounced off. うん。Yeah, from my hands, and instead dived in right into the toilet, uh, tub. I don't know, like, 便器の中。うん。So yeah, right into 便器の中。まあまず聞きたい、like, まあいろんな聞きたいことはある。Uh-huh. まずそのトイレは。なんかどれぐらい綺麗だった。It was a normal, なに bathroom at the station. うんことがついてなかった。No, I don't know. I couldn't see like visual, なに dirty stuff inside it. But like everyone's pooping peeing inside the toilet, the show. で、なんかな何が入ってた財布に。So It's it was just like a normal wallet, like which you put like money, cash, credit cards, like cars, and Shinkansen tickets. Yeah, because I'm going to Tohoku uh really soon, and yeah, everything, everything was inside the wallet. And then when I saw uh my wallet in the banky, I was like, fuck. And then I stopped thinking, like for I don't know two seconds, and then immediately took the wallet out of the banky. And then I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, yeah, pretty soaked because yeah, it's yeah. まあ試したことないけどその日本のねその札は水の耐性あるの。It's not resistant.、Uh, it's not like plastic. まったく。Yeah, so yeah, it was soaked.、Um, and yeah, but like I thought I have to like wipe the, you know, like visual, how do you say, like, like wet,、mm. like water out. So like I, I took the, the toilet paper and then like I wiped it. And. <laughs> Uh, luckily, I had like a like a how do you say like asefuki taoru,、mm. which yeah, which is like a Japanese thing. Uh, wait, uh, which you wipe with the asefuki taoru, ah no, to. Yeah, asefuki taoru to feel fresh. Ah, so ah, so 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 All the cars and、uh, yeah, and then wiped with the asif. Eh, majide? Eh, majide? No, 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 wiped. Ah, no, wiped. Ah, no, 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 Luckily, I had like a plastic bag, like from c o m b i n i or something. So I put the, the dirty wallet into, in,、uh, into uh, the plastic bag. And then, since I didn't want to have、uh, dirty cash, so I went to ATM to change cash. Like, it's like <laughs> you know, <laughs> so somebody will have that dirty cash, by the way.、Um, so I put. <laughs> the dirty cash、uh, inside ATM and then took like g e n k i mo? Other, so so other cash.、Um, so yeah, that was my tactic. And yeah. And then. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 Well, 何かやってたんじゃない yeah, なんか本当にトイレのな,な,なんでしたっけトイレの神様かどうかわからないんだけどそのよくうんこが出るために、まあ、な,なんていうの,<笑>そ,のそういうような神様がいるでしょうなんか神道のなんとかトイレの神様いや,いや,いや何でしたっけそのアニメがあるそのあ自爆
なんとかトイレくんあら神道の神様についてなんかどれぐらい悔しいのなんかその有名うんそのなんか試験の神様とかそれいるでしょあれね、maybe there's トイレの神様、サボウェイ。何でしたっけ何とか花子。トイレ、トイレ花子ちゃん。トイレの花子さん。んかゆえ、え、わかる yeah, ?I've heard of it, but I don't know like, exactly what that is. <笑>ア,ニアニメや漫画だと思う。見たことないけど、oh, なんか神道の本当の神様に基づいて作られたという、yeah. まあ、話聞いたことあるかどうかわからないんだけど、そういうものだと思った。でも、まあ、とにかく大事なのはいつ怒らせたのってという話。な何やってたの、oh, no. <笑> Last time I went to a guy's restroom, maybe that like upset the <笑> goddess of、uh, トイレ。<笑> I don't know.、うん、<笑> But that was a, yeah, that was a、um, unlucky experience. I don't know. Maybe it was good because I could talk about it like in this podcast. Maybe it's a win. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> まあ、それか、パブリックのトイレを使わない方がいいという考え方もあるか,<笑>かもね。まあ、日本だと実は私は結構使うんだね。アメリカにいるときは結構警戒しちゃうんだけど、日本にいると、あ、なこれはなんか言,いたい言,い言わない方がいいかもしれないけど、あの、あゆみは、その、まあ、ビデイそもそも使わないよね。あ、ウォッシュレット使わないね。いや、あるね。うん、ウォッシュレット使わないよね。うん。But because, like, if it's like <笑>、uh, public toilet, トイレットだとさ、うん、なんかそ、そ、その時でも私は使わない。No, no, it's dirty なの。Like, somebody's... <笑>いや、わかってる、わかってる。その、ノー、ノーわかってるけど、私が思ってるのは、なんかアメリカの方が、なんか、4倍、5倍ぐらい悪い。で、なんかアメリカのやつを使ってるけど、日本のやつを使ってたら何のなんか悪い影響ないと。な,なんか汚いと分かってる。なんか頭の中でなんか分かってるけど、ビデオ使わないとマジで無理だから。いや、あのー、何も言えない。あ、あのー、うん、恥ずかしい。言わない方が良かったかもね。すいません、みんな。<笑>これから、まあ、使うけど、ポリキャストでは言わないけど、<笑>言わないだけ。<笑>あの、じゃあ、Anyways, えー、まあ、that was a bad experience which I had yesterday. And we're back with the final section. And if you made to the final section, that means you just send an email to lazyfluency at gmail.com with a comment, question, language related, and or otherwise. And this week we have two commenters, but one of our commenters had three separate comments and they're all really awesome, so I want to read them. The first one is from Trevor. And guys, if you thought you were escaping bathroom stories, you're not.、Um, I, I can't help it. The bathroom is on the mind today. This is from Trevor. I think I've had similar bathroom experiences as I am in, but in my case, it's from the fact that more non gender bathrooms are being built here in California. I've used single stall ones, but recently at school, at school at a school building, I had the opportunity to use one with multiple stalls and I just couldn't do it. So I went elsewhere. It's just a me issue, probably. And then the other bathroom lady comment from Oddity goes as follows. You know why there's always a line in front of the women's bathroom? Because they're designed by men. Men's bathrooms have four to five urinals and stalls, whereas women's bathrooms just have four to five stalls, which is to say women's bathrooms should have double the stalls.、True. Okay, first off, hold on, hold on. First off, from what I understand, because I've asked about this, men's stalls normally, like urinals, take up the space that would be used for stalls. I'm just letting you know. So we actually, a lot of times, Like a lot of times, men's bathroom only get like one stall, and then it's like four urinals or, or two, which can actually, if you need to take a dump, that can create a massive problem. But <coughs> I do think they're like, so I don't know if more urinals is like more stalls. Like, I don't know if you can fix this problem without making just the woman's bathroom massively huge. I mean, do you think there's any way to, to, to solve the woman's bathroom issue? Like, I'm just going to say, Is there any way you can make it more efficient? <laughs> Do you need the stalls? Can you just squat? First of all, I think it's not a big deal. I think it's 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 a big deal. 
なんか、まあ、たまに自分もやることだからまあしょうがないと思うんだけどあの<笑>無駄に鏡の前でなんかお化粧直ししてる人が本当に多くてなんかあなた1時間ぐらいいますよねみたいな人が結構いるの。I wanted to ask you actually, because sometimes in Japan I see the word, you know, use oterai, but sometimes I also see like, it's like makeup room. I can't remember what, what Japanese is being used specifically for. Are these two different things or is this another? Yeah, yeah. Is this just, is just, is just another word for bathroom? First of all, toilet is the word that is the most important thing. And then, the word is the most important thing. And then, the word is the most important thing. And then, the word is ニアリーイコールだと思う化粧室は化粧室っていうのは、まあ、パウダールームもあってトイレもあるみたいなっていう場合もあるしもうトイレ自体をトイ、えー、と化粧室っていうところもあるパウダールームは、まあ、あ,のあれねあのメイクアップする場所がありますよみたいな。あ、ほだほだほだほだ。I'm very curious about this powder room. What, do, you get, like, do you get products for you or is it just like other mirrors? 違う違うただの鏡、How... でっかい鏡となんか椅子があるみたいな。<笑> oh, 椅子 Oh! Wow, okay, this is like the woman's bathroom. I don't know if it's a 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 woman's bathroom. こともあるから、まあどっちとも言えないかな。まあそう本当なんか同じ意味って捉えててもいいけど思うけど、まあ要するになんか結構なんか邪魔だなとか思う時もあるのね。私なんかいや<笑>こうそんなに時間かけるかみたいな。いやわかるよわかるよ。なんか直したいのわかるし。Do you think if you ban this seems like a weird pr- proposal?、うん、But do you think if they had A ban on using, like, okay, you have a powder room and you can, you can powder as much as you want in the powder room, but they ban women in the bathroom from pulling out any makeup. Like, they have a woman who's like a, the bathroom police, and if she sees somebody pull out makeup, then you know, they get kicked out. Do you think that would speed up the Japanese bathroom situation? Like, yeah, women? Yeah, but it's a little bit of 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 a l i t t 普通に学校とかなんかある、まあ、施設、まあ、オフィスでも何でもいいけどあの鏡の前で歯磨きするやつがいるんだってもう本当にいや邪魔だよっていうのが思うんだけどなんか、まあ、学校の図書館があるのねでそこ、えっとまあ、個室が2つしかないの、まあ、スなんだっけストアが2つしかないのねで、まあ、まず入り口入ってそのなんか2人いてなんか鏡の前で突っ立って歯磨きをなんかもう5分から10分ぐらいしてるやついんのいや歯磨きでそんな実家かけるかって思うじゃんまずしかもあ,あなたはそこでやる必要あるかって思うじゃんなんか普通に席座ってやればいいのにさなんか突っ立って携帯じりながらなんかこうやって歯磨きしてるいやいやいやいや<笑> This is one of those things like and I know stereotypical but I just think it's true where Jap- men it seems like regardless of culture you get in and you get out I've never seen a guy it's probably happened Some, I can't, in my memory, I can't think of somebody shaving. I can't think of somebody brushing their teeth. I can't think of somebody flossing. People, people barely even want to wash their hands. Like, or it just, I think part of it is the urinal design where the urinal m a k e everybody slightly uncomfortable because there's always a thing like, is he looking at my dick? I want, I want to make sure that I'm not looking, like, I, I want them to know I'm not looking at everybody's dick. And so everybody has, like, you know, you do business, you look down, you know, you wash your hand, at least for me. Like, you're like, bro, no, I wasn't looking at you. Like, wasn't looking at your dick, and you just want to get out. And so I feel like that uncomfortability of the whole urinal situation both is efficient for two ways. One, because, you know, like, you know, quickly pull down zipper P.、Uh, but the other one is because everybody's already passively slightly uncomfortable with being in the bathroom. So I think you got to make people less comfortable. They can spend as, as much as they want in the. あのプライベートあのセプレイルームでその個室でねだからさなんだろう Oh you know what? So, I thought of a solution、mm. The other solution this is related to Trevor talking about the neutral bathrooms and I think obviously like our society I don't think is ready for 100% general neutral bathrooms I think there, there's no reason it, it isn't fine like my college actually had all 
like basically uh, maybe there were like some men specifically but a lot of the bathrooms were gender neutral and once you kind of got over that because my thing is like a criminal is kind of already going to commit crimes but obviously you might be able to reduce that by allowing them disallowing them to have access but at the same time i think the vast majority of people it's fine um you know it worked and in, in college it worked and it wasn't it wasn't issue but what i think is now if you had a situation where you knew that you know maybe, maybe this is good or bad i don't know but you know you're waiting like you know like like it's so lined up and both men and women are both angry at the same thing you know, I, I think, and a guy is sitting there that, you know, you use the makeup when, when guys, you know, just want to get in and out. Maybe that pressure, that pressure alone would make people not spend as much time. Um, I do want to, just because we have other com- uh, comments on here, I would do want to get to them. Because uh, this is one that was talking about, I'll be talking about Bunke and Dike. Um, and this is a long comment from Oddity on uh, so the um, STEM versus humanities. And this is a really good comment. So, Israel is somewhere between Japan and the US in that regard. When you apply to the, to uni, you don't just apply to generally be accepted. You apply to specific departments. There isn't a specialized test for each. You just circle the ones you're interested in getting into on the application. Each one has different requirements, obviously. During the degree, you are required to take a course from different departments each semester. You can't swap it out for anything, and you can't finish the degree without completing these courses. I like this approach. Students from different departments have different perspective. They often ask different questions and make it makes it for a more interesting discussion. To all STEM naysayers, I'd like to join Joey and add, the title PhD, meaning Doctor of Philosophy, comes from the fact that not until the 16th slash 17th century was there even a distinction between science and humanities. Up until then, philosophy encompassed all fields of study except for law. So everyone with a degree was a PhD. Moreover, the rise of this very distinction is a product of philosophical inquiry, specifically the introduction of the paradigm of the empiricism and its subsequent codification as a standard for scientific research. The prince's principle of falsifiability, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, not to mention propositional and first order logic, which are the bedrock of CS, are applied by STEM students daily as mere axioms when in fact they're all products of philosophical labor. So not only do you need humanities to pose relevant research questions, you can't even conduct research without the epistemological and ontological frameworks it provides. Japan's education system was up until now interested in spewing out dutiful and efficient technocrats. It worked great for its post-war, but it's not anymore. As recent economic statistics show, show. so this is a welcome change. Um, I mean, that I know that might have been a little intense because, yeah, there's a lot of... That was uh, intense. <laughs> yeah. But I thought it was a really, really good point. Basically saying, like, literally, like, I think we talked about before that everybody who's a PhD is a doctor of philosophy. So we're so, you're yeah. all yeah. all STEM people are humanities. Um, 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 uh, sorry, mm-hmm. came from women, I mean, came from humanities. Um, and so not only is the distinction kind of arbitrary in some sense, because they both tie into each other, um, but even if you assume they're not arbitrary, then the foundations of, um, you know, science are bedded in humanities. Um, so <coughs> I really feel like, yeah, I really do feel like humanities get super underrated, especially there's a lot of talk about, um, I mean, you probably, same thing in Japan as well, where they go like, if you want to be poor, you know, go in the humanities or like useless majors, useless jobs. Um, and like as use is only defined by monetary value. Um, mm-hmm. Do you feel like that sentiment is true? I know like there's obviously in America, there's like the typical Asian American, like, oh, be a doctor or a lawyer. But so, I actually yeah, wonder, do, are, are, like to, are like people who like, you know, go into Kokugo respected for like, you know, you know, because it's like tied to Japan. Or like, you know, I want to be like, you know, uh, traditional samurai, you know, a- a- any sort of traditional art, are those people viewed in like high regard? Um, like if your son or daughter wanted to do that, like, you know, get really good at the koto and preserve that, or do you think they're viewed in like, oh, you're not going to make as much money, so you should go f- for law yeah. or medicine? What do you えっと、ま、確実な収入は得られる気がするんだよ。で、えっと、なんだ、ヒューマリーズの方は、ヒューマリーズの方って大体経営者が多いじゃん。あの、CEO とか。だから、ものすごく成功したいんだったら、絶対
なんか理系はまあある程度高い収入あるけどもうエクストリームリッチになりたかったらヒューマリニーズの方が絶対チャンスはあると思う。あ、uh,、I'm, I'm, mm. I mean, if, if we're talking about being extremely rich, I think the best way to do that is to be extremely rich. And what I mean by that is to have you know, extremely rich parents or extremely rich connections. That's the best way to be rich is to be well, rich well, already. But I'm talking about that the connection that is. You don't have any. Sorry, go ahead. コネクションだってさ、絶対ヒューマリリー取ってる人の方がなんかコミ,コミュ力高いじゃん。Oh, I don't think that's anything to do that. I, I'm talking about just inherited wealth. Like most like CEOs and like large people, Bezos, like all, all of them. Even like Bezos talks about his story about working, you know, he, from an office or whatever. Like this idea of the self made billionaire is just not true. So,、um, but I, no, I'm curious. So, you don't, you, you don't have any sense about like, this seems like something that would, I don't know, I feel like would be. Pretty big thing given how much Japanese culture I feel like is res- respected. I feel like people respect traditional culture. But let's say let's say you wanted to be like um, um, Takurazuka and you were aiming for like Takurazuka or a- anything, you know, Rakugo. Do you think an average parent would be optimistic, optimistic about that? They'd be like, I'm very happy that you're shooting for something. <laughs> like, is there any <laughs> national, like, pro- you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <笑>でやる分にはいいんじゃないかなでもまあこれはずしてもそれ全部の親がさ認めるわけじゃないじゃんなんなら私のさ親もさあの私は英語が好きだから、まあ、留学したいっていうのをそのまあ高校の、えー、受験の直前かな1か月前とかに言ったらいやダメだっつって、oh, I'm not talking about like, like, 英語 I'm talking about I'm curious about traditional know, Japanese arts I'm wondering if there's, a, there's if those are viewed differently or not Like、you're, I don't you're know not, every you're、like、family in Japan, t h e you don't have you don't have any sense of like how ju- uh, uh, how uh. you know it's viewed as a society. Like, for example, if you say you want to be an actor in the US, your parents are going to tell you, like, you know, you, you're basically be poor. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. それが全部とは言わないよ。なんならだってそういう人がいるっていうことはそういうことをまあなんていうの強化してる家族もいるわけだから。But I feel for a lot of though, a lot of traditional jobs in Japan are definitely white. Like you know,、uh, you you can you get apprenticed, right? You're like a dishi. So I don't feel like、um, you know it's necessarily as like you know you're risking gambling for an industry. A lot of the people are literally looking for someone to continue. Does that make sense? Whether it be like hanmoku. Or Ohamokuga or whatever.、Um, like, people are looking for deshi. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 I'm Yeah, I, I guess. I don't live in traditional Japanese. <laughs> well, I mean, there's the, okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm surprised. Nobody has. I wasn't talking about being in a field. I'm just talking about, for example, I could talk about how Americans feel about football generally. Even though I don't play football, I don't watch football, I don't like, I don't like football, but I still am in the culture, so I hear about it. So,、uh, yeah. Anyways, oh, there was one more thing, though,、um, which Oddity responded to, which is I, I did call, but I asked everybody, which is. Can you tell me something the US is good at, please? Because I was struggling to think of one. I think Audi thought of one. I don't know if this would be, US would be number one, but I think this is something that is positive. And she said,、uh, I have no numbers to back with the following, as it's hard to quantify, but the US is probably the best at religious freedom or freedom from religion and freedom of speech. I don't know of any other country where these two are the First Amendment of the Constitution. Considering what's been going on in my country recently, that's a pretty good thing to be the best at.、Um, I think. Like, in terms of a freedom of speech, maybe there's countries in Europe, but yeah, US probably. But freedom of religion, I'm, I don't know if that would be. I feel like Canada probably, you know, I guess it depends on what their line is, but I definitely think that's one thing that I like. I actually want to have maybe a podcast or a main channel video talking about、um, some freedom of speech. I really don't feel Japan actually has, like, they have a pretty tight hold on what I would think freedom of speech. And there's a lot of laws that I go like, Like, I recently learned like, the, the standard for like, getting sued for like, making, making fun of, you know,、uh, in the US to be like slander is super low in Japan. Like, you can just say you don't like somebody, and technically speaking, I think it's that you can get sued for that or you can get punished, fined, which is insane to me. Yeah, are, are you、well, familiar with any of that? 
Well, not sued, but sorry, fined. Is what I was looking at. Like by the government. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 逆に違うんだよ。日本はそういうこと多いよ。だからみんなしないってだけ。そのある、これも言ったけどさ、なんか何て言うんだろうね。あの、常識から外れたとか、人と違う意見を言うとさ、あの、打たれるってやつね。だ